Well, for my money, nothing like calling fights here north of the border. Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. A lot of big moments for this boy, Max Bless Holloway in this book. Yeah, man, Max Holloway has become almost a home team when he fights in Toronto. They love him here. And every time he fights at the Scotiabank Arena, he puts on a show. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a huge block there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. These guys throwing early. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this time? Nice job on the counter there, and this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over aggressiveness of his opponents against them, and that's exactly what he did there to great effect. Oh, Superman punch! Just over three minutes to go. Single collar tie now. Blocks that strike. Oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Punch over the top. Oh, huge clock. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch. Slips that left hand. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, 10 down. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Superman punch now. And they separate. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Oh, single collar tie here. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Beautiful punch. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Man punch. Slips. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. And he landed the right hand there. 
The horn sounds for the end of round one. See if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. To be able to stand back and see your opponent's attack and counter so effectively is a very, very difficult skill to pick up. This young man has done that, and he has done that to a really high level. Ooh, what a punch. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Beautiful strike. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Straight punch lands. Oh, spinning back fist. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big punch from the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Nice loop of punch. The Superman punch lands! Slips to avoid that left. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Lands the right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch land. Glanza uh, glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seen everything coming. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Left hand punch to the clinch. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right, single collar tie now. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. 
Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to the face. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ten minutes in the book. Time. All right, next Fine. round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, big shot land. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Superman punch now. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Nice one, two there. And they separate. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes to go in round three. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, nice. Nice. And there comes the separation now. Big overhand right. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And they separate. Oh, blocks the shot. Slips the punch. Good punch land. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Flush right hand is true. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. He blocks the shot. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. I mean, he hasn't thrown one leg kick this whole time. And they separate. What a punch. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. Might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab as you see his opponent's head pop it back every time it lands. Straight right, he misses. Lead left hand is true. Nice punch lands. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right punches there. Huge block there. Nice right in. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake to overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue, and he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Straight right is there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them 
are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Now he touches him with the left. That punch, no good. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. For the winner by unanimous decision, the buzz. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.